Z's, and to meet them are just two. I see a Taco and I see a TRK. Previously exploited and underperforming, the lowest two fraggers for MRBR are about to be overwhelmed by all five. They're pushing, they're not stopping at all. TRK's in all kinds of trouble. He is trying oh. to buy some time, but no fights happen for him that work out at all. This is just pure. We're running through anything to get to site. Yeah, that was so damn fast. Straight up the second middle, exploiting the two A players. They were predictable spots, and they hit their shots. And now we're three on the encroach. We do have a smoke on Fallen. No kit, not that exciting. The CZ armor for KNG could be something to report, but looks like he's a little bit late to the party, and Fur has found a way in. Let's get this party going. No time now. I'm getting a bit nervous, guys. You're all very static. Looks like they just want to contain. Oh. Yeah, he's got an armored CZ. He's just going to run away. Fur's doing something. It's way too late. All too little, wow. too late. I, watching this, it just looks like G2 have no fear. Like, at all. So far, not too shabby. There's a 2-2 two, two at the end. They'll save what little they can, but G2 happy to collect. Yeah, so one of the keys that uh, our stack guy, we've got him back, SEO, he uh, loves to send us some of the little tidbits. So he was telling us here to keep an eye out for the opening kills for G2 on Inferno. Well, they had an opening kill right there. And the reason is because they have the second highest 5v4 win percentage, 80.6% in the last six months. Now, the reason we're going six months is because we had the player break in there. We want to try and get some more data in for you guys because there was basically 50 plus days without any Counter-Strike. So when they're getting the opening kills on the T side, look to them to convert these rounds. But that's where KNG comes into the mix. So the force by here, I'm going to question it. This must be uh, a big decision from MIBR. Let's straight down mid. Uh, it, it's one in second mid, but now the kind of game's been noted. But how do you deal with this? There's so many bodies in your way. It's a massacre in middle. And it's just Kenny watching his teammates get slaughtered. So much to worry about. Lovely looking nay, that'll do significant damage, perhaps not. Well evaded and now concluded. And so that save from the CZ has saved them. You talked about KNG as well. Four kills from the man himself. Look, very important for them to get that round in the back pocket, right? Because if they lost that force by, they would have to take a save. KNG wouldn't have had enough money to get the AWP going into the first gun round. And then what I'm talking about, one of the win conditions, him needing to find aggressive opening picks on the AWP, it wouldn't be existing. That MP9, going to do a fantastic job to stimulate the economy, should be able to potentially hold on through. But he's going to bring out the AWP straight away. So Ooh. you might get a look here at what I'm talking about. He loves to go aggressive mid-pick almost every single round, either straight down the guts like this, using a smoke, using a Molotov, and then picking into AWP middle. He loves to be a disruptive force. Steps, they hear him. T boots on wood. They know this apartment's presence. And the fear I have is if KNG does reveal that AWP, Tech 9s, Mac 10s, very deadly. And I'll be honest, I, I know this to Chad, we, we know that casters can be coaches, apparently. We'll see. I don't know about FaZe right I now. I was a professional you know. player once upon a yeah, time, I'm Lauren. Sure, I'm sure you were, Chad. So was Moses once upon a time, but here we are. It was only, it was only four years ago. <laughs> four years is a long time. Uh, <sighs> problem is, if, if, <laughs> if Chad knows that KNG is going to like an AWP pretty early on, I'm pretty sure G2 is going to be aware of it too. So I, I'm, I'm a little scared, and it does obviously neuter a little bit of that kind of Look punch to it. Right on his nose. He will have to reposition, and they will try and pressure down. Oh, okay. ah, there's the first brick starting to be pulled from the foundations of this MIBR setup. Should be the first. I'm not so sure about the second. Good moves from Kenny. And Nexa, he should have a chance oh, here. No. One more KNG. Oh, he sweats off a very deadly frag. Could have converted into a round win now. Much more in favor of MIBR. That bomb's still over by CT, though, right? Like, that's kind of stuck on Kenny at the moment. If they can isolate, which they kind of have fallen, this Point. is a kind of scary round. Now with the uh, fight converted, that's an open sight. All of that hard work and survival from KNG will come into a 3v3 after plant. All retaking from Banana Oh, Amanek, one of the best players with the SMGs, single-handedly practiced and refined this weapon to see it so prominent in the meta, but it's TRK who will find the first on the way back in. I don't know how much info he got. If he saw all three, then maybe it changes things a little. Hunter needs to get very relevant here. Bring the SMG to a range support. Kenny to be able to play back in on this. TRK for... Oh, the, the composure. <gasps> oh, Kenny, you're a, just a, such a good player. It's done. I'm tilted already. MIBR, you've lost the AWP. You've lost the round against pistols, a couple of SMGs, and just the composure of Kenny S. An emotional player, an emotional man. You watch <laughs> him win and lose, but in-game, in those moments, he held his nerve.
Yeah, I think they've been doing their best to try and take that emotional tag away from him in uh, this current iteration of G2. It's not easy to do with all the woes and bumps that they've had across uh, their journey so far, but a great round right there. And Alex brought up the point about Amanek. The third highest uh, percentage of gun that he uses is the Mac 10, right? The not making it up. Oh, he loves it. And that's yeah. within the last three months, right? So just before I get the, the stats people out there getting down my grooves, that's in the last three months. So he loves it. He'll use yeah. that instead of the, the Tech 9s. He loves to pick that one up. And he, the jumping accuracy is fantastic. Having a player like that, you know, we can roll it right back to COD 4. You've got a player that's taking the SMG, but there's an extra economical bonus. He, if he's comfortable with that weapon, he's summoning $600 a frag, and he's got extra drops for his teammates. It's ideal. Yeah. Right? You've it got really Kenny S is. on your team. If he's dropping an AWP because of all his SMG frags, bingo, bango. That's not how I speak. Onga. Thank you. Bang. And Kenny is tagged. Not the end of the world. But between the nades, the tags, Three of the players are a little, looking a little bit more vulnerable to these Deagles, these CZs, the you know, armored up CTs. There's, there's a little bit of danger here, and Fur is keeping them somewhat humble, and the Ts look like they've hit the brakes for a second, but I'm not worried about G2 yet. I feel like every time I've seen them, even on the back foot, they have a plan in mind. And for the newer viewers as well, uh, since there has been such a significant break, one of my breakthroughs for Inferno is the battle for two parts of the map. Chad said it 900 times, and it stuck, I think, around the 800th time. Mm -hmm. But it was, of course, a battle for mid-control, denying information of where Amanek finds himself, and Banana. At this point, they have completely denied any info to the Brazilians. They do not have the call as to the numbers up in middle. Banana, the same. Of course, not something that G2 are working with. They have no presence there themselves either. Oh, the timing on this, Alex. five seconds, Lauren. They're going to have to pull up their socks. Look at KNG. He's heard it all. He's seen it all. And they seem none the way. <gasps> oh, no, don't mess this up. He doesn't. Oh, my word. Could have got, got sketchy there. A little, little nervous. Yeah. A little nervous. But you're, you're right. I, I think Chad had the perfect point to bring up KNG. He's 9-1 and one right now. And he has been kind of leading a great deal of what's worked out. What a great bit of timing. I was so scared on that first one when it slipped away a little bit from him after seeing the bomb there. But, yeah, clearly frustrating. I mean, um, you kind of call it for what it is, but this is a good sign for the very my BR that the win condition is working. Yeah, they need to stretch their legs though. They need to actually put a couple in a row together on the board. Pardon? It's, uh, that wasn't me, everybody. Uh, I don't. I don't make those noises. I am human, uh, as much as you may think I'm a lizard person. There's going to be a force by yet again. A bit of utility once more. And look how quickly they go for boiler and halls control here. Knowing those orbs are in play, you can push those rifles back, and then you can start to work the map. I haven't actually too aggressive. That Molotov did hold them at bay for the early stages right there. Now the top mid smoke will come out. They can get this for almost free. No doubt. Looks. Likely for fall and so low. Jax, however, does get met by the spray eventually. They fully invested into this with their armored deagles, Tech Nines as well. Good to see that after the player break, that adjustment to the Tech Nine has had follow, follow through into Tier 1 Counter Strike. No one was flirting with it upon the patch, but it seems that given some time, Built done their research. Funny that. Yeah. Given some time, teams develop. Who knew? Stubborn Counter-Strike players. Hey, look, it took him a while. The creep was a prime example. We're into the 4v4, equalized by Nexa. Here we go. Bit of punch to it. Still two players by Pit, though, that could hinder and hamper all of this. Taco and TRK are going to be trying to keep control, but Taco just sitting down on the deep for now. He does have the SMG, but it ain't range for it. And he's just lost TRK, so Taco's going to buy time. Do damage, do something. Hinder what the T's are trying to do. Nade's good, it's chipping away, but it hasn't stopped them. No, nice move from Kenny. That could have killed him. He just managed to get back onto Cold Terra and keep his heart beating. My heart quickening in pace. 3v3, retake on the cards, or in the cards, if you're a poker prick. Good shot from Nexa. Just Taco and Fallen, Fallen incredibly low. Taco could do something with this, but with Nexus Frag, I'm afraid it will just be Constellation. Three to two, G2 extend, and we'll take the lead. Oh, they didn't even really worry about Taco and Pit there, did they? He was meant to be the thorn in the side, the reason that they weren't be able to sit on the site so comfortably, but he couldn't jostle for position. And then once KNG goes down, well, that's pretty much all she wrote. So this kill from Nexa here was the big deciding one, and that's the in-game leader. He had impact in the last game, three kills. And yet another rocky one, and the force by battle continues. This can only go on for so long. MIBR, the CT side, things are more costly. The Molotovs, the rifles, they need defuse kits. If they lose two in a row, Lauren, they're in a lot of trouble. I mean, we want to see KNG on the AWP, right? We want to see that uh, aggression towards middle. I guess he can make it count with the scout, so our next head rolls. And we'll be seeing at least a nice early advantage in those opening duels, again, do become a factor as to, well, now we see an MIBR with a chance of it. Can they capitalize in the way that G2 often do? It's a very good point. You know, we talked about opening kills. Yeah, G2 four to G2's, sorry, MIBR four to G2's two in the six rounds of play. 
The fourth now found by KNG Scout. So they're making it work with a little at this point. Very impressed to see the CTs, but they do still run the risk of a full execute into a site. I yeah, mean, no, that's gonna hurt. Look at the gamble stack right now from MMBR. They've got the opening kill. They've actually put three players over towards this B bomb site here. One on the boost, falling in front there, taking any early aggro, and a player at new box. Ooh, the Flash Hunter's already broken through in the follow-up. He knows it well, but it plays in Taco for two, but it's not over just yet. A 2v2 post plant. KNG can't get there in time, and Kenny's on patrol. Lovely shot. That was the main threat. Neutralized, and now just TRK. He's been having a bit of a mare on Vertigo. Quick glance at the scoreboard into map two, and seems like he's actually one frag away from his total on map one. So that's a good sign, a good indication. 80 ADR as well at the very tippy top alongside KNG. So TRK is contributing, and he'll continue to do so in a different way. Saves the scout, which was worked so well for KNG. But it's just such a horrible way to start the game. We were talking about this yesterday with some of the starts from 100 Thieves. They were losing the force by battles, and then you get stuck in that washing machine. You're in the tumble dryer. It feels like you can't get out. And now they're going to have to take a save, right? Because the way that the new economy system works is back and forth with the round. So the loss bonus hasn't had an opportunity to build on up here. And you can see with the bomb going off, well, it's only $1,900 loss bonus, which means they have to take a save or go for a force buy in this one, then take a partial in the next, right? So the questions here are not great. There's no right answer for MIBR going forward. There's the shot that we missed towards the start there. KNG, like I said, loves to go aggressive down mid for those picks. He loves to go for those type of fights. And you will see here, there's just partial upgrades, right? There's a Deagle in the hands of TRK. He's dropped that scout across Fallen's actually got that one. And that's all they're working with. So this is basically an eco round. An eco that holds some weight for G2. They can't let this one slip away or start throwing away weapons. So let's check how calculated this one is. Look at Nexa. He's anticipating a mid rush. He has a molly prepared if they were to bring down the mid aggression. We saw it you know, a couple of times, that aggression coming out that worked so well for KNG before. Maybe not a bad read, but already an opener going to be quite comfortable. Jack's claiming KNG is going to make this look somewhat, not, I don't want to say easy, but a lot easier. He's been your danger man, 10 and 4 for sure. And everyone else kind of somewhere in between. I, I'd like to see it not being just... Uh, on KNG to have to thrive. This is one of my favorite ways to see teams handle ecos after an early advantage, because you can still get caught by ratty corners. You just have two players without the bomb. Treat it like you did. You know, Hunter's clearing this site, flashes from his teammate, and they'll be able to suss this one out, force the rotate, and they can take the bomb wherever they want. It's still at T steps. You know, this is a lovely way to ensure no funny business. And no funny business yet from that Deagle on TRK. He's had a couple of opportunities. Bomb will be on its way towards Banana because they've pushed all the way through CT. So it's lovely. G2 have no doubt in their mind the round is theirs. So if we look at the loss bonus coming into the next round, it's going to be 2,400. Well, KNG right now only has 2,200 to his name. So if we do that maths that we weren't talking about, Alex, he's not going to have enough money to even go for a glass cannon, which now starts to beg the question, okay, hold up. This is getting a bit spicy. They have a couple of frags coming on in. They're keeping the cash a little bit low. Maybe Taco now might consider dropping an AWP, but he would be then having nothing to his name. So it doesn't really matter if he survives or dies here. It's just the economy potentially getting bolstered a little bit for G2. And well, oh. there we go, $300 in the back pocket. Maybe now we will see Taco drop this off. These could be very, very important frags going forward. I didn't even consider that, Chad. Good point. He's put his total up to a glass cannon, or rather the drop for KNG, excuse me. Jax should be able to take him down, but the damage is done. $600 farmed with just the USP, so good control. Yeah, so this is the question. Is Tanko going to be uh, the teammate we all know he is? No, he's not. He won't be dropping the AWP. He's going to go straight with the armor, which means the rifle will follow. And unfortunately, we won't see that type of play coming out from MIBR. So with the rifles, we might actually see a three-player take of the banana, more traditional, because they won't have the orb to go for picks towards middle. No, it's just going to be a standard hold right here, having a look at the radar on the top left, two towards B, three towards A. P side orping on Inferno isn't always an interesting conversation. Kenny's opted to bring it out here, so I wouldn't mind putting him in the spotlight just a little bit as we continue to see this round transpire. So just setting, checking that CT setup. So it's a 3-2 split, as Chad has outlined. Taco's got now. the same knife as me. Oh, he has? Mm. Similar taste. You should get yourself a beanie, maybe. What do you think? You're a beanie fan? Like a floppy beanie? Like a kind of a no. smurf gamer kind of thing? No. What about like a backwards cap? Ah, uh, look, I'm gay, but I'm not quite that extent. <laughs> okay, well, <gasps> there's levels. These are just yeah. suggestions, Backward Lauren. cap's not quite there. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
5v5, and with 75 seconds, the banana control has yet to be taken. I do like this fur and fallen setup. It's, it's kind of a deviation of what Astralis were flirting with in It's pool. an all-in, though. Yeah, it very is, much. This is an all-in. When the flash comes around the corner, assuming there will be one, or the Molotov, or Nade, or something along those lines, they're, in, they're locked in. Locked oh. in! Here comes the swing! You better make it work. Fallen has to find two to justify it. He can't leave. The Molly's done its job, oh. and it's more where that came from. Oh, Nade's galore. And the bead site is open. Rotate from KNG. Sweaty palms, fully blind, and now forced to back away. They haven't crossed yet. He's got there in time and slowed progress, but look at that. Hit on the other side as well. This is this is all encompassing so far, even though Jackson Hunter are low. We're once again asking a lot from KNG to deliver in these very hard moments. As for now, Taco can't really leave, eh? That little bit of pressure that came through has really hindered that chance. And well, speaking of chances. It's not looking so good. Certainly not. Look, keeping track of those opening jewels, it's G2 have equalized in the following two rounds. Starting to swing and run away with the momentum as anticipated, and it's similar to the first map of the series. So Amanek responsible for the plant, and same old story. I feel like how many times have I just, <laughs> just two members of MIBR saving? Oh uh, dear. It's, uh, look, it was hard for MIBR when we were over there in North America. It's hard for them here in Europe as well. Like this team, if we're going to talk about, you know, the overall big picture, they have Dead back in the coaching role, right? Apparently watches a lot of Counter-Strike. You know, he's been with the team for a very long time, would have a very good grasp on the dynamic of Fallen, Taco, and Fur. And, you know, he can be that cheerleader for the team. He can pump them up because he was one of the reasons that they could even move to North America. So if we're looking at it from that angle, you're bringing him back a bit of the nostalgia. But at some point, MIBR need to potentially consider changing the brainchild of the operation. If it's not working so far, Fallen's still in game leading, things just aren't getting better. I, I know this is a stretch, but, you know, rolling my mind back to when I was, you know, watching a lot of Counter-Strike, you'd see NIP constantly changing in that fifth, right? It'd be yeah. never changing maybe the core issues of what hindered them back in the day, but constantly cycling in new talent, young it's not talent. not us, it must be them. And, and I, I worry that if MIP, MIBR falls into that trap again, I, I, I've i only barely seen them though. I'm not someone who can really kind of put that to them yet. And, uh, you know, this is a European scene, a very different opponent, but it does, there is that little bit of a worry. It's like, okay, if the core... Well, I, I the, the highlight I had from the demos that I were watching, you know, I did like the sample size. I was looking at the last five on a lot of their maps today, going through just taking the, the, the broad stroke notes, right? I didn't want to go too nitty gritty because the matchups, the things that could have changed from the black box of the player break. But one of the keys for MIBR was having KNG, the AWP, almost every single round. And what that was, just the presence on the map, just the, the fact that he could slow them down, knowing that they had to use an extra flash. They had to use a smoke. They had to push him back off that line. Here, we're now nine rounds in, and we've seen him have the AWP once or twice, yeah. and it's just down to these rifles, a little bit of utility. MIBR need to get these gun rounds working, and they need to do it quick, because this game is going very, very fast. Yeah, it's kind of spiraling out of the control. It does feel like only a second ago we were talking about round three, and now heading towards the double digits. Is this just the prime example of that economy, right? Is that constant buying back in, buy back in, buy back in? Oh, wait, we're suddenly six rounds down. Only an MP9, screwed. I can do it though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's 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 scary though, because I said I remember it might be our large and in charge, and they look a little behind in this. Yeah, development has continued, and perhaps they have stood still. Flash for Hunter's swing. Following, you can see. I, I imagine that's going to be an incendiary in his hands. No, it is the smoke, so he'll just be dropping that on the queue. I just imagine as soon as he yeah sees that one bloom. Bear in mind the bombs at T spawn. Now that's going to be a deliberate choice. You don't expect to see any G2 commitments here. Amanek's got that responsibility. So it does look like that will be the B finish. And, and it's so strange. Again, excuse my lack of consistency, but seeing oh. reliance in a fr French, quote unquote, you know, air quotes, French team. They, it was always the heartbreak, it was always the flash and all of that, and then make the final mistake. But it feels like all of this has been resolved and this new roster looks oh. so well formed, Jax. I'm, <laughs> I'm leaning in. We We've both got our nose in. to the monitor. <laughs> Almost saw him, but here we go. Molly's go up. Flashes go in. It's game time. Oh, I'm falling. Giving it a good go. A good run of things, but that in inaccuracy on movement has cost him the kill. Can convert. Jack's down to 22. Can still frag with 21 less health. So catching one on the boost. It's forced. KNG off. The spray is good. Not bad at all, is it? They're all trying to pile into a bit of that success. And first, just ooh, bounding in. But no time, no time. Stops in one second. It's all over. CT side denied the plan. They denied it all. Well played in the end in the most 
volatile of moments. Ooh. My word, that was high octane. Yeah, that's all for big shout out to him. You can see the uh, fist bumps. They are playing in HQ, playing from Europe, as you would expect. And uh, round 10 does go the way of MIBR. It's actually instigated a timeout from G2. That's enough for Nexus to think he wants to have a quick talk about that one. I can see the fans calling in. I think I see a bad fall in cosplay, so loving that. Good to see. Put a, put a face to the name. Everyone's got quite tidy rooms. Yeah, respect, guys. I'm proud of all of you. Like, shout out to the people who made their bed to be on webcam here. Yeah, I can see the fan rolling. It is boiling hot. So all of you that are sweating while watching the Counter-Strike, yeah, you're welcome to the club. It's summer. It's not gamer weather. No. I'm lucky enough to have AC. No so. comment? Oh, come on, Chad. I said no For the comment. fans. No, honestly, For the fans, please. Whenever I get in a hot car, I start complaining, and Chad's like, oh, reminds me of home. Legitimately, like when you get in and the steering wheel's hot and the seatbelt's hot. the belt like, buckle touches oh. you, it's like, Ugh. Yeah, I hate that. Oh. He's just sitting there like reminiscing, like, oh, I remember when I was in Swamp Dog or whatever. It's it, was, it was Dog Swamp. Oh, I'm getting closer. Yeah, what is Dog Swamp? It was where I worked. I used to work at Woolworths as a produce manager really? in Western Australia. Yeah, dog Swamp. Amazing. Did you have Pick a Mix? Swamp. No, we didn't have Pick oh. and Mix. For us, Woolworths is a little bit different, Lauren. All right. It was, well, a, it's, uh, it's it was like a Tesco. Oh, Kenny, uh, you naughty, what? naughty man. Just a quick one around the corner and takes one of the hardest hitters of the MIBR roster out of the equation. This, this is confident, Kenny. We're getting confident, Kenny. Alex, you, you said be excited. There might, might happen. It might happen. There's a chance. And I've just seen Kenny run up banana and bang someone out. <laughs> now, Lauren, you're talking about the volatile French. We'll get there. Don't worry. We'll watch oh. Vitality soon. Then you can see the volatility of the French Counter-Strike. It still exists. Don't worry. We'll be treating that. You Apex just walking in with his trousers around his ankles, killing three people. That still happens. Good shot. Nice one from Jax. They're back into the A site. They could pincer. That's a great spray from Taco. He's unlucky to not convert any of those. Oh, he's in so much trouble. TRK from every angle. First fight. Close, but not Look close at HP. enough. Yep. Unfortunately, it doesn't translate into anything. All that hard work. Great, you're farming your ADR, but unfortunately, that is going to be seven for G2. Oh, God. That was that was brutal, wasn't it? Brute force. Every fight just straight up taking it. There was no beauty or finesse, which is quite rare. Normally, I associate that with these players, but that was just, all right, fight after fight. After, doesn't matter if we get tagged. We keep pushing forward. He's yeah. playing the other game, though, isn't he? <laughs> Hey. I'll give Funny. you a 7 out of 10. That was quite good. That was 7. Nice. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks. I like that. He's had his, uh, he's had his orange juice this morning. <laughs> We're going to jump into my favorite little toy. Actually, I've got a lot of favorite toys. This one's okay. Yeah. This one's in the drawer still, but we're going to pull it out. <laughs> Calm down, Lauren. And uh, I wanted to show you how that execute came on in. So you're going to see these smokes, one towards the arch side just here. It's going to be landing off one for library as well. One here, one here. But the one I want to focus on is the one over towards Pit. So I'm going to swing her around. Oof, this one this. here will deny players from Pit being able to take fights over towards the arch side as they wrap, giving them a clean avenue into the bomb site, being able to pincer on nice and easy. So great stuff there from G2. Simple stuff. I love that swing with the cam as well. I didn't have you pegged as a swinger. Guys, we're going in a very dangerous path here. Uh, Day two. Don't do this to me. Go I, down. I don't, where, where's the border? Where's the line there now? Is no, there, is, there is no line. It's in your head. You Why is it so know. naughty with the two of you? I thought, you know. It, it's been a while. We've just got to get out of our, get out of our heads. Okay. It will, get, it will only get worse, yeah. is what I'm saying. I'm glad um, I didn't say get it out of our mouths. 90 seconds <sighs> is what the clock at the top of the screen <sighs> says. Kenny, in pursuit of another frag. He oh, found it. No, no. he spotted him. He just has to play the waiting game. He's got a friend on CT, so they'll smoke that off. He could oh, fall a nice jiggle. Completely invisible to Kenny. He does get the warning. He's getting interested. He's lurking in that smoke. He's waiting. But he gets the info that no one's there. It's safe. And he re-aggresses? Does he go through that smoke? There is someone on the other side. Next is still there to ensure that they don't get the full easy read that they backed away oh. from this. But it's fair to win it out, right? Nexa goes down, no one else on Banana. You might consider swinging a player fast to CTR. Just get him over there as quick as you can, because you're playing catch up now. TRK and Taco, I think it is, have to hold on to this. And Jax is on the site. They bound in so fast. Yeah, Jax, he had one mission. Clear Cold Zera, the flight paths. So ironed out for G2. Every member on that assault knew what they were responsible for. And the outcome of it is a 4v4 after plan. There's nothing that TRK can do from Pit. He's been molotov into the open. Hunter and Jack's doing what they do best, and poor old KNG. There's nothing he can do. He's got no armor on that AK. He just has to grit his teeth and accept that this is another round he'll be forced to save. Six deaths, 11 rounds. You can do the maths. 
Well, I was uh, very, very impressed right there at the speed that they were able to pull that off, right? Because how quickly that all happened towards the top of Banana. Nexa making the call on how many players were pushing. Our flash came through the smoke. Two came through the smoke. Okay, now we're going to jump into the skybox, and I'll show you how quick it all was and how precise the utility still was. So this is very, very quick. Flash is coming over. Smoke once more is going to land on over to cover off towards the arch side. One towards the site. Flash is in. Taco just got in position, and he's already been run down. So this was fantastic work here from G2. They're going from strength to strength. It's nice to see a roster with real depth, I think. I, I, I think I missed that. In the first couple of games, they, they were good. I think, you know, with 100 Thieves and Genji. we're doing North America. Yeah. <laughs> well, mean, we got but, demoted. I don't know what happened. No, no, it's all falling apart. So come back. Sorry, boys. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I, I think, as I said, 100 Thieves and Genji were very, like, in a state of flux. It's kind of hard to kind of yeah. see that depth there. But even MIBR, you know, a good couple of looks. But G2's depth seems so vast. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just refined, you know. Uh, sometimes you get to see those those raw minerals. They have their the potential. They have all of that in the, the sedimentary rock. <laughs> a bit geological with you there, there guys. Uh, uh, the pressure makes a diamond, Alex. Yeah. Or is it a pearl? No, diamond. definitely, definitely diamonds. Find it with clams, you know though. <laughs> Can we not start talking about clams, chat? We just had this conversation. <sighs> Well, okay, all right. So the orbs out in Kanji's hands, though. So at least we've actually had that bonus come on through here. It's only taken to round number 12 to see its head get reared once more, but it hasn't been aggressive in the early step. Guys, don't make me become the teacher. We're not doing anything. We're good. It's yes, Dad. It's fine. It's okay when you say it. If I say Daddy, it's weird. Well, I didn't add the unnecessary suffix. Suffix? I think that's how words work. Can, can, we, can we turn their mics off, production? <laughs> Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> 55. This is how I get back on track. I just say a number. It really helps me kind of get... Eight to three. Thank you. Yes, Lauren. <laughs> Precisely. Precisely. Uh, we're chilling, though. We're not killing just yet. Still five alive. Jax wants to change it, and he does. Supported by the Flash of Kenny. And I would love to dig my teeth into Flash Assist. Feel like they've been filling the feed. Again, look at this. The, the pressure towards Arch, the limited information. Again, isolating players, pulling them away. Look at that dedication that was stuck towards B. But now, first having to sit back a little bit, maybe unsure as to where the next bit of pressure is coming from. G2 slicing through them. Mm. Rotation's impossible. These two players on either side are so alone right Jax now. Jax can just sit there. He can't sit there anymore. KNG stole his seat and his health. Wild spray from Fur. He wasn't really expecting much out of that, but he got a fresh mag for the retake. Oh, the molly. Got a kill. Fallen does burn down. Kenny behind it. They are so perfectly set up for this. Amaneki has to win this duel. Fur has a chance to rock the boat here. Oh, and they're grouping up. Fur's kind of cut off here, but there's a time limit on this. Bear in mind, those two players coming up on Banana are going to have their presence noted soon. There comes the flash. Nice work. And their picture. Perfect defense on the site is ridiculous. Good grief, that was a quick kill. Just around the corner, just as contact happened on Banana, you'd think there'd be a little bit more indecision, but G2, I mean, I'm not going to make this about the underperformance of MIBR because I think that's not the, the headline. The headline here is G2 have had that break and have come in looking clean and crispy off the get-go. No ring rust as 100 Thieves were throwing around. This is straight up G2. They took their break and they're still here. And that's a nice confirmation to have very early into ESL 1 Cologne. Well, look at this risk. Fallen's gone into the AWP here. He's got three kills to the name, so... The in-game leader, it's a big boy decision to do this right here. He has to make this work. I don't think they'll be expecting this type of aggression coming out, but maybe they will. The nade drops on his head. The Molotov to follow. Fallen hasn't even seen anybody yet, and he's below half HP. Who's doing this research? Who's out there garnering all of this information? Because G2 have been gifted the MIBR book and have read it page to page. This is beautiful to watch, and they seem so hyper-aware, but Fallen is still Fallen, and there's always a chance he can do something. And the re -aggress. does he see the gun barrel? No, but now he sees the body. Kenny is there, the trade, he gets away. <laughs> oh, that was so close to being the round over, right? The only orb in the round. Now Jax has found TRK, the poor TRK. He's been given a tough job. KNG does tidy up his mess. More to this round perhaps than meets the eye initially. 2-2 Two -two split for the CTs, so pace will be a factor here. Oh, run, run boost. boost, yeah. Overfall and scope. Beautiful. This is what Lauren's talking about. And now Fur changes the conversation. Oh, he really does. My God, do straight we, through. Do we need to start sweating bullets? Does the ghost of Semla reappear? What's going on here? Next are now left in the 1v4. Molly, Flash. Bomb is in a bit of a precarious spot. Three players very close by 25 seconds. No flank just yet. He was waiting on it. It's a little missed time. Taco's going to be taking his time. 
He just needs to make sure he can't go anywhere. And yeah. next up. He's probably resided himself to, to yeah. dying here, right? I mean, he'll hold on to that AK until the last second if they truly don't choose to challenge. Oh, oh that's no. the AWP. He can stop them from recovering that now. Yes. Oh, the molly. I love it, next up. Smart cookie. KNG's on a recovery oh. mission. I mean, <laughs> has managed to pull it out of the flames. Lovely jubbly. Probably quite hot on the palms, but Nexa preserves an AWP of his own. All right, so that was good stuff there. At least they're able to carry the AWP through. KNG yet to buy one. Fallen seems to be holding on to... Okay, there it is. The double's out right now. Fallen actually has a better spawn for middle here, so I'm not sure how they want to approach this one. I know that the two, when we get to maps like Dust 2, will just play spawn-based Counter-Strike. Both actually pivoting towards the A bombsite here. So both orbs taking the gamble, going towards A, seeing if they can shut down this early aggression from G2. I'm just going to put a lot of pressure on first, soloing B. Oh, this is so ballsy, Fallen. You've got a time limit on this, and the flash is enough to dissuade him. He had KNG holding his backside and a leg shot. Or not. Between the wickets, I suppose. Cricket now, is it, Alex? Who am I? I'm watching got, Formula 1. Even got bowling chain. I love I, I used to watch a lot of F1. I've got back into it. Yeah, honestly, cannot recommend Drive to Survive enough. I've went from having zero interest, and now... I, You're in there. I'm so invested, yeah. I think Lando Norris was a changer for me, oh, though. Yeah, just you seeing, know? you know, 19-year-olds going 300 miles an hour with multi-million dollar corporations putting huge faith in teenagers, it's kind of crazy. And they Almost also... like eSports. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Netflix, pick us up. We'll show you the next major, the first LAN in a year. Imagine the storylines. Oh. Imagine the drama. You know how nasty Yanko is? We could put a camera on him. <laughs> Love you, Yanko. Ham it up, Yanko. Love Come it. on. Uh, but yeah, still got the double up. Still got his presence. So much pressure is now on Fallen's shoulders to hold B as well. And luckily for him, right place, right time. He's yeah. not in, you know, a, a, a particularly precarious scenario as no one's really over there right now. The most of the T's are holding top of mid, but they're waiting. This is this is the latest we've seen What's it so Nexa far. Doing with that? Is that half wall smoke? Not banana smoke. Yeah. Usually yeah. Fallen will play on that wall boosted or picking the line here. This will deny vision. Oh, it's actually a CT spawn smoke, so he's ahead of that. It's a deep pass from T spawn to CT arch. Just Very look nice. at the rotations. Look at these two players. It oh. At least temporarily. First working it out, though. There's commitment coming in. KNG, he makes space. Jax wins his duel again. TRK is... Jax's easy pickings, and now Jax continues. He's added a second KNG behind oh! enemy lines, and he continues to cause time, time. problem have to seven, plan. five, six, five. He's oh. got it. 4.5, the magic number. He's got half a second to spare. He has to save. Yeah, I don't know what other options he's got. He's just going to stare at this for 45 seconds. Yeah, he can't get back into the bomb site here. He does have a kit. That's great news. There's a smoke and a HE to work with, but the avenue's not open. Going into the final gun round of the game, well, of the half, sorry, they don't have anything to work with. So Fallen has no option but to hold on to this. Fur is the only one with a bit of residual cash to be buying into the next. And everybody else, well, it's just going to be more of the SMGs, more of the scouts, more of the uh, rubbishy weapons, a bit of a menagerie going into uh, round number 15 from RBR. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. If that's, if that was the look, right? MIB, I want the double orb. They wanted to see KNG get a couple of kills, two kills. They're not the starters you wanted, but they, they had the tools necessary, and it felt so far away from being claimed. It was so much, uh, like those kills. They look great as, and everything, but but the fact that he had four people coming from long, short balcony, and he's taking his first kill from pit as an orpa. That's, you know, the problem's already there. The problem is that there's four people pushing one man with an orp. That's. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at KNG's position. I mean, what more can you ask of him? The second kill's just a consolation at that point. And even both of them going down at the same time to ensure that there's no danger. Yeah. Like, I love these small bits of lovely little chemistry between the teammates and just that... that Playing almost, the percentages. It's beautiful. It's really nice. I said, well, the, you know, you're probably not too worried about a no-scope, but there's a chance, you know, it, it can happen. So why not try and work around that? I really like this tactical timeout being called from G2 here on the last round of the first half. Now that kind of whisper sweets, nothing's in their ear, and just remind everyone that we're a team, five fingers of a fist, blah, 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 blah. And that's going to make me feel good and collect an 11th. It is a dominant start for G2 here on map two. And KNG, you talked about it, Chad. Glass Cannon, very risky to HEs, but he stands vigilant. And Kenny, not going to be giving him the aggressive fight. Unlikely he'll continue any wider. And a standoff in middle. I was like, this is the first time yeah. we're seeing them with the ability to use those double ops. And it looks like G2 are so prepared, so mentally attuned to what 
MIBR were wanting to try and manipulate. Not going to get away with, but there's still danger of plenty. Here come a couple of flashes, Molly, smokes. They're running through the utility here. Bomb is still down at the bottom of T stairs, so this is still a bit risky, but they're because on the site. They smoked their own Molly. The timing's just completely flubbed, MIBR. Fur can be the hero. Potential there. Kenny caught in transition, I say. Caught. I did not realize what Kenny was capable of. He's got another straight over the smoke. KNG baffled. Yeah, okay, he's been having such a nightmare. Rotating into a lost site. I mean, what can he contribute at this point? Spots the barrel. Kenny looking for something extra. He doesn't need to provide anything else. His team have locked down the site. Rotates coming in. It's the final round. No, re no reason not to give it a go. Arco, TRK. Oh. God, Kenny is being just a monster in any way he can, maybe excluding the, the kill there. Any double dips on it, why not? Kenny just showing dominance. This is his map, and this is G2. Some of the stats Chad had posted about their North American performances did raise some eyebrows. Let's see if they can tidy things up here in the second half. Yeah, and the eyebrows are raised as well here, Alex. we got five sets of Kevlar coming out on the T side of MIBR, and that, to me, as I see them uh, storming up second mid, feels like an all-in. This is going to be a quick one here. This is going to be gory. Oh, they can hear the steps. Two of them in Boiler. It could be the perfect counter baited in by Kenny. They're all staring at him. A nice catch from Fallen, but they're probably not ready for another. You look at this. Oh, it's gorgeous. I don't even need to shout. I could just enjoy it. Lean, lit, tie back, relax, and another one from Jax. Wow, three in the round. He might even find the fourth here unless Burr wants to choose a different adversary. Here's one. And that's Kenny. Not too much of a slouch with the USP either. And it's not often I watch a game of Counter-Strike with what's meant to be tier one teams. And the call is all five rush second middle with armor. They went and nice go mid to arch. What a cool, what a cool. But even still, like most teams these days are having a player like go boiler, jump to see if there's anybody there. If somebody did that, they would have seen all five players. Uh, the early call would have came on out. I'm not. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Let's see though. It does look like this one could be a quick one because a force buy has come in from MIBR. No bomb plant typically. Expect to see this. Deagle's armor and just a little bit of utility. So their main objectives here is to draw out that CT utility. Look on the right-hand side of your screen. You see that oodles of things that will slow you down and chip away at your squad. You want to go ahead and force just like that. That's a very early smoke on B. Amanek deploying that leaves only one available for the rest of this round. Saying that, Kenny's rotating over with his. So they are playing this to perfection. They can still buy 30 seconds on this B site. And actually re-aggressing. They're going to flash around the corner. They want the info. It's valuable too, but Fallen's going to be up there. So not the full picture as three players do sit poised at the top of the middle, but the bomb is behind. It's on Fallen. So if he goes down, there's plenty of problems afoot. But here comes that wrap through on Archie. Might be trying to crush towards that B site, but you do have Hunter on the back lines watching this. I think they might have an idea as to what's going on now as you're already seeing Kenny re-aggress back towards Arch again. Contact made and Hunter's more than capable. It feels like Kenny's just filling the void and filling his bank account at this point. Hunter there to close it. And this is, again, the ideas. I can see them from MIBR. The execution is never going to be coming through. Fallen. It's been lingering by this smoke and it will fade shortly. Oh. Seems to be oh. finding some trouble. Maybe Fallen can hit. Another one of those. Next to though, you know he's going to be playing the percentage here. He doesn't oh, need to move. He chooses two and takes the duel. It's 13 for G2, a very reminiscent score of Vertigo. It could very well be the same final result. And now here's where we come into problems, right? MIBR, look, if they take a save right here, they could even do... Okay, Fallen's dropped a MAC-10. Are they going to go for a yet another force buy? I don't want to say that if they're going for force buys like this, it feels like signs of tilt, but it, that's what it does feel like to me. If they're just going to go all in round after round, thinking that they can take the fight to G2, who have clearly been the better individuals in the server. Aim across the board. The way that they've been... It's a, it's a partial, okay? This is a strange partial. Fur, I guess he's got the best spawn. Barreling up Banana. He needs to find entries. Game on. Oh. Uh, and it's maybe game over. Oh. <laughs> uh, Hunter and Kenny combining the super the nade in. And oh. These are great. These oh. are excellent. Oh. Look at this damage. Oh, God. They are torn asunder. More from that. Does Amanek will find only the one. It is that Mac 10 from Fur, but I'm afraid one kill is not enough to report. The RK with one health. That's one. That's none. Mille 
très bien. Merci. À tout à <rire> Où est la piscine? Oui, oui. Où est la bibliothèque? <rire> Je jouais au foot. <rire> ah, mid uh, mid. Oh, I was about to go German. Now. I've become German. Oh, no. We were doing so good at GCSE level French. We were, we were. Anyway, our copains aside, let's get into <laughs> round 19. It is going to be a full buy. We've got the AKs, Chad. You've got everything you need for an MIBR success here. And I like the upgrade from G2 here as well. Not taking any chances. They've only kept one SMG in the hands of Nexa, and he's one of those B defenders. Kenny doing a lot of damage early. Things are already starting to fall apart for MIBR here. Look at that aggressive nade. <laughs> oh, that's oh. twice in a row. <laughs> Ah, it's so perfect. You can't, all you can do is just enjoy I'm watching annoyed. It. I'm annoyed for them. Yeah. I mean, if you, you can choose two sides of it. You can either be impressed that that just happened or absolutely empathizing for the MIBR squad as they've just once again lost one of the main stars of this T side. It was on an AWP as well. Heavy investment. It may have been the AK, excuse me. I think I said five rifles at the start of this. But regardless, the result stays the same. Wall, isn't it? Everywhere they go, it's utility nades. You know. I like the look of B though. Like, if you were going to choose a site to hit, they're going to get this banana control on contact. You can see, look how brave K and G is. He's just walked up, not made a peep. There is no info for these CTs. Amonex on the jiggle. Does he feel this timing? See if he gets the peep. As soon as he hears the pins from them, he'll pull his. See the timing on it. There, he's, 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 he's felt out enough, and you think of the time, 36 on the board, you might as well put it down no matter what, and it's the right time, and it's the right place, and he's the right player! Gorgeous, Amanek Doze goes down after his double, but he's set Nexa up for success, the bomb is in their grasp, and just like that, this round gets ripped from them again. Well-coordinated squad, Hunter will take contact for the swing, ah, oh, it's just gorgeous. Taco, great shot, but cost him a great deal of his health, Nexa's boosted MP9 to finish. That's 15, a quick golden shower. Now for the 16th. Just one more before we get themselves into the first win of ESL1 Cologne. <sighs> well, I don't say it as much as I used to because normally the games of Counter-Strike we commentate these days go overtime. But my mom always says a quick game's a good game. And I don't know where that came from. I don't know. She's a Counter-Strike fan. Actually. Obviously, it. yeah. I, I, I'm not quite <laughs> sure where she pulled it out. on the service. This Having is a good virtual. Time. <laughs> quick game's a good game, Chad. I don't know why she sounds like Nadine from ESL. Hi, guys. Nadine here. Nadine here. Had a bit of trouble with your shuttle time for Katowice. We're going eh? to Katowice. Say. Much love, love to you. Nadine. We love you. We love you. We're not bullying. Good shot. <laughs> but, but, but speaking of bullying, uh, we might need to get any key on the phone because that mid peak's a little bit rough. That's not all right. That's not fair. It's 15 to 4. Don't do that to them. I think this one might be over. If you want to start putting the bow on it, you know, putting it in, in the, the oven. oven. Yes, uh, bows, <laughs> ovens, buns. No, no buns in the oven. Forks. forks in the oven. No, wait, don't put forks in the oven either. But don't <laughs> put them in the microwave. Just cancel all of that. The oven might be all right. Oh yeah, okay. God, what has happened? You know, I consider myself someone that's lived life a little bit. I still accidentally put a non-microwavable container in the microwave, Dad. Oh, it's terrible. In our microwave? Yeah, I didn't want to tell you. Okay. <laughs> It's just a little bit of like beef juice all over the place. Okay. Fortunately, Counter Strike's here to bring the topic back into something that you're here for. You didn't tune in for this. My shots. Next has gone and put a bow on it. <laughs> oh, I did it. I, I walked straight into your trap. Just TRK. That's it. Six.